Ukraine assigned 24 players, one player per each nation represented in Euros, to eventually win the Champions League. We decided to go with Fortuna Dusseldorf as our club after their devastating loss in the Bundesliga playoff finals. The wheels are going to decide the nation, the position and the player type. And the first player will be Portuguese center back, the real life player. But the problem is that we have only 12 million transfer budget to spend, so we need to start slowly. And we decided to go with Thomas Araujo from Benfica. We paid 6 million euros for his transfer. The next player will be Serbian center midfielder, again the real life player, but as we are low on cash, we need to sell some players. Now after a little bit of transfer business, we generated enough money to sign Lazar Samardzic from Udinese. We paid 10 million euros for his transfer. Next player will be from Albania, goalkeeper who is actually a generated player. We decided to go with Youth Academy, as we won't be able to find any regions in the fourth season. And the only good goalkeeper we have found in Albania was Bardil Bitiki. 750,000 euros market value, 72 94 potential, is actually 58 rated, 6.4, best thing will be loan him out for short period of time. Next player will be Danish left back, an existing player, but we need to wait for January transfer window, where we decided to sign Patrick Dorgu from Lecce for 3 million euros, 66 rated left back with great potential. Next player will be Hungarian, center defensive midfielder, again generated player. So we managed to find Mihaly Barna, 775,000 euros market value, 79 to 94 potential. He's 57 rated with great pace and physical capabilities. Again, the best thing will be to loan him out for six months. Again, we are going to check the academy for center back position in Czech Republic. And we have found Ladislav Jelinek, who is already 61 rated, 78 to 94 potential. One of the better players that we have found so far. And with that, we finished the season in the second Bundesliga. We are actually third. But as in real life, we bottled the promotion playoffs final, losing to Heidenheim 3 2 on aggregate. But still, we have one more player to sign in this season. It will be again the academy player, center attacking midfielder from Switzerland. And we have a couple of choices here Dennis Hack or Jörg Brunner. They have pretty much the same rating and potential range. So let's see whom we are going to choose in the end. We already secured signings from seven nations in the first season and as we have two players per position only right center back position is filled out already we are starting the second season big with signing from France it will be real player for left wing position and we paid 19 million euros to Borussia Dortmund for the transfer of Ryan Cherky although his initial position is center attacking midfielder we are going to convert him to a left winger next player will be from Slovakia center attacking midfielder again an existing player but as we have only 6 million euros to spend we need to sell some players because we are going to sign Tomasz Suslo from Hoffenheim. We paid 13 million euros for his transfer. This time again we are going to set up a scouting network to find a center back in Ukraine. We got an option of Panamarenko or Marchenko but I believe we are going to stick with Marchenko. Next will be another regenerated player this time from Poland for right back position and we got a choice of Robel Gorski and Michalski and we will be going with Robel. We will try to loan them out and by the way Brunner and Barna is also on loan for this season. Next player is a real player from Belgium for goalkeeper position and I would like to sign Martin van der Voort, 22 years old but sadly we do have only 1 million euros in the transfer budget so we have to go with Mike Penders. We got him from Genk in a direct swap deal. We put our main goalkeeper into it, Florian Kastenmeier and Penders will be our number one starting from this season. Next is going to be Romanian center midfielder and we managed to find Simeon Raduciano, 1.2 million euros market value, 79 to 94 potential. He's already 62 rated with very well balanced stats. He will be a good sub for Lazar Samardzic. And the last signing of the season will be Georgian left winger, not Kvica, but Pietre Alievi. He's already 62 rated, 79 to 94 potential. He can be great backup for Turkey. We managed to win the second Bundesliga and got direct promotion to the first Bundesliga. German Cup goes to Bayern Munich as well as Bundesliga. Real Madrid won the Champions League and the player of the season in the second Bundesliga was Ryan Cherky. Although Tomas Suslov has better numbers overall. In two seasons we got players from 14 countries represented in Euros and alongside the right center back position we filled out goalkeeper center mid pump positions. We are still waiting the signings for striker or right wing position but the transfer budget in the Bundesliga is not big. We got only 38 millions to spend. First we are going to sign 
Scottish right wing generated player. And this time it is going to be an actual region from free agency. It is Oliver McNeil, 20 years old, 69 rated, showing great potential with good pace and dribbling. He's actually a good addition to the team. Next player is a real player from Germany, the host of the Euros. And we made our biggest deal yet by signing Jan Orel Bisek from Inter for 30 million euros. He will be one of the highest rated players in our team. Next one is again a regenerated player from Italy for right back position. And we managed to find this guy in free agency. Manuel Amato, 73 rated right back, decent pace and defending, good improvement to the team. Here is the look of it in the beginning of the season. You can see only striker Verme and CDM Engelhardt are left from the original 11. We got every chance to survive in the Bundesliga. Here you can see that a lot of academy players are still loaned out for one more season. Next we are going to sign real CDM from Croatia. We decided to go with Christian Jakic, 75 rated center defensive midfielder from Croatia. We paid 3 million euros for him to Eintracht Frankfurt. In the end we managed to survive this season in the Bundesliga, ended up on 14th position. It is Borussia Dortmund who won the league, the FP Pokal goes to Freiburg and Spurs won the Champions League over Real Madrid. Europa League winners are Porto and the Conference League trophy goes to Manchester United. In terms of individual performances it is again Tomasz Suslov with 16 goals. Other than him it is pretty much slow season from everybody else. But the good thing is that we got absolutely immense growth from all our players on loan. Look, Barna went up by 8, Alievi by 10. Next season all of them will be on the bench or in the starting 11. We already added 18 players to our team. Only 6 countries are left. Still we are yet to sign a single striker. But that is going to change now. Because the next player is actually a striker from Netherlands. A real player. And we decided to go with Tiz Dalinga. We paid 33 million euros for his transfer to Mallorca. Next up we are going to sign left back from Austria. And we decided to go with Manuel Pfeiffer from Hartberg. We paid only 2.5 million euros for his transfer. And after renewing the contracts, we are left only with 3 million euros in budget. And I believe the transfers for this season are done. As you can see, we added Mihali Barna as well as Dalinga. To the starting 11, we got players with over 80 rating and others that are catching up. We filled the bench with mostly generated players and are ready to fight for trophies. And we ended up the season in the Bundesliga on 5th position. That is a great improvement upon previous season. Borussia Dortmund won the league again and they made a domestic double by winning the DFB Pokal as well. Champions League trophy goes to Liverpool. Manchester United won the Europa League and the Conference League winners are Lanz. Dalinga had a massive first season with 26 full contributions in only 33 games being by far the best player in the team in terms of stats. After 4 seasons we are only left with 4 countries to find the players from including the big ones like England and Spain. We need to fill two many mandatory positions, right wing and striker, the last two signings can be for any positions. Luckily we have this season 88 million euros in the transfer budget and we are starting with English striker, an existing player. We decided to go with Ethan Whitley. We paid 27 million euros for his transfer to Torino. He will most probably be a backup for Dalinga. Next player is right winger from Spain. This time it is a generated player. It was hard to find a good region but we managed to do that. Borja Benitez from from Athletic Bilbao. We paid 25 million euros for his transfer, 76 rated as well as McNeil and will compete for the starting spot. Other than that, Tomasz Suslov is already 88 rated. Center backs pairing looking absolutely great. We are slowly developing a team capable of winning every possible trophy. We managed to squeeze our place in top 4 in the end of the season. Only one point ahead of Leipzig. We secured Champions League football for the next season. Bayern Munich won the league. Leverkusen won the cup over us and Spurs won the Champions League one more time, this time against Liverpool. Napoli won the Europa League, we sadly lost in the semi-finals to Newcastle. Arsenal took the Conference League trophy home. Dalinga had a great season one more time with 32 goal contributions in 36 games and 31 goal contributions for Suslov. We're only left with two countries to sign the players from, Slovenia and Turkey. The best part is that we can sign a player for any position on the field, but still the will is going to decide if this 
player will be a real player or generated one. First one is a real player from Slovenia and I believe you're already guessing whom we are going to sign from Slovenia. Of course it is going to be Benjamin Šeško, very talented striker. We paid almost 90 million euros for his transfer to Atletico Madrid and after that we are only left with 17 million euros in the transfer budget. This will hardly be enough for contract renewals. So the last player will be signed in the beginning of the next season. Of course if we don't win the Champions League before that. Šeško is 87 rated, huge upgrade in striker position. Borja Benitez overtook the right wing position. He is the only player in the starting 11 below 80 rating. So let's simulate and see whether we can win any trophies in the end of the season. This time we are third in the Bundesliga. Only 4 points behind Borussia Dortmund. That was a great opportunity to win the league title. DFB Pokal goes to Wolfsburg. Eintracht Frankfurt is the winner of the Europa Conference League. Europa League goes to Liverpool. And no, we are not in the Champions League final. It is Newcastle who won over Borussia Dortmund. In terms of individual performances, Cesco has 26 goals and 3 assists in his first season. 36 goal contributions in 39 games from Suslo. Yes, we are going to have one more season to win the Champions League. To help us to achieve that glory, we finally signed our last player. We paid 40 million euros to Barcelona for the transfer of Ferdi Cadioglu. And with this signing, we complete the challenge of getting 24 players, one per each nation, represented in Euros 2024. We have players in mid and high 80 range who are playing together for a fair amount of time. And I believe they can win the Champions League, but you never know what can happen in football. We are again only third in the Bundesliga, this time 8 points behind Dortmund, but instead we are in the DFB Pokal final against Bayern Munich. Let's simulate this game. And no, we lost in the penalty shootout. Brunner and Šeško missed their penalties. This could have been our first trophy with Düsseldorf. In the Champions League, we were second in the group with Sporting Atletico and Budo Glimt. In the round of 16, we beat Crystal Palace 6-4. This time we were better than Sporting in the quarterfinals. And we even beat Real Madrid in the semi-finals. We are in the Champions League final against Napoli. And before that game, you can see the stats of the players for this season. Suslov is an absolute leader with 44 goal contributions in 51 games. Here is our squad facing Napoli. No players below 85 rating, with 91 rated Suslov leading the line. Is this team good enough to win the Champions League? Yes it is! We did win the Champions League, scoring twice in the extra time, Šeško and Aliyevi with the winner. The most amazing part is that the actual leaders of this team are from Slovakia and Slovenia, Tomasz Suslov and Benjamin Šeško. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and check the other content on the channel.